Good morning, lovelies, and welcome back to another video. My name is Alexandria, and today I'll be taking you guys along with me for a full day as an HR generalist. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Okay, and really quickly, this is what I'm wearing today. I put on this longer sleeve shirt because it has been a lot cooler in the morning and it's freezing cold in my office. And then just some black jeans. We have to wear jeans and boots. So I'm gonna put on my Leona boots from Doc Martens. Of course, as you guys can see, the bed is always made in the morning. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then jump on out of here. It's freezing outside. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna put on a denim jacket and I need to check my, oh my gosh. I need to check my, I'm checking my work phone real quick because I just heard my phone go off. It is 5.45 in the morning. So typically my day actually doesn't start till like 7, 7.30. My schedule is actually 6 to 6.30 to two. But right now, it's been kind of fluctuating depending because we actually got a night shift so i try to stay some days till four which is why i don't mind the 7 a.m to four because i want to kind of be here for when the guys are here but i also want to get stuff done at the same time and if i go early morning 
and sometimes even staying late like i get a lot of stuff done i've noticed that this is my fourth week it's been a month since i've been working here and as you guys noticed i did not pack a lunch and no my eyebrows are not done usually in the mornings just because i want to save time in a weird way i feel like doing my eyebrows in the car makes it faster so that's just kind of like why they're not done my eyebrow pencils in the car that probably sounds weird and you guys probably think i'm like this lazy freak in the morning time but i promise you i get cuter as the day goes on but no i did not pack a lunch today so i need to go grocery shopping and i need to actually buy a new lunch box so i'll share all of that once i get those things and kind of show you guys what i typically pack for lunch lately because we do at this office i'm in charge of buying groceries there's stuff for me to snack on and eat throughout the day and i don't know my appetite just hasn't been the same before anybody asked no i am not pregnant going through just a little bit of sadness and kind of just going through certain emotions and being on my period twice in a month just has decreased my appetite severely so i really don't want to eat too much so i've pretty much only been eating like twice a day i sometimes i do make breakfast but today is just i don't know today's orientation day is just one of those mornings and i'm not really hungry so i know you guys like to see stuff like that and in my last nine to five video that i did i had a lunch and everything i do like to pack my lunch but it just hasn't been happening for me lately so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here bye babies let me say goodbye to my dogs lock the door and i took my time this morning getting ready usually i'm done in 30 minutes but also recording takes up a lot of time for anybody who doesn't know that if you guys want to start a youtube channel or vlog you're gonna see for whatever reason even if you do your more normal routine it takes longer which is why i got up earlier my alarm actually went off at 4 45 and i was laying there and then by 4 54 which was the time you saw this morning i actually decided to go ahead and get up i just wanted to get back on camera where i look decent because i was like oh my gosh my first vlog back and i was looking a hot mess for a second there i'm going to stop at starbucks y'all it is 52 degrees right now and i looked at the high and the high today is actually going to be like 79 80 and it's been like this all week so it's exciting i love this time of the year okay and just to give you guys full effect this is usually what it looks like in my office in the morning i turn on my salt rock lamp and i turn on my diffuser these two are like great little talking points for when people come in here and if they want to talk to me i don't know why but this having this on makes everybody feel like super comfortable and then up here i have my little mirror so the first thing that I'm gonna do this morning is actually review timesheets that were left on my desk overnight. So we do have two shifts. We have a day shift and we have a night shift and timesheets are to be turned into me on a daily basis so that I can upload them and review them and just make sure that everybody's hours are being entered. Before I started, there was a huge issue with payroll and employees not getting paid and we were losing a lot of employees because we don't have a time tracking system and paperwork was just getting lost in the process so i was tasked with being the person to look at them and send them into payroll so that we can make sure that they are getting paid my biggest pet peeve is payroll i don't like when employees do not get paid we pay on a weekly basis so it's imperative that this gets done every single day and it's just i feel better doing it myself and knowing that it's getting turned in and that the employees are getting their hours and their money's worth of work in that week the next thing in my morning is that i'm going to check the call-in line so the new call-in line that we were given for texas is just now being put into place and the word is barely being sent around to all the employees it's been a little bit difficult because we had another call-in line that was getting through to our nevada office and they're two hours behind me so i don't know who's actually a no call no show for write-ups terminations any verbals warnings whatever i have to give so this is a new thing that's being integrated and i finally have access to it so i'm actually just checking and just making sure that there's no one missed and i do get a daily attendance report from the supervisors so in combination with the report and the call in line i can decide on who needs a write-up who is excused who needs a rto who needs a verbal like it's just an easy way for us to gauge and just to keep the employees accountable they know they're supposed to come into work they know they're supposed to call on the call in line if they're missing days and of course if they're calling in quite a bit i want to kind of be the person to figure out hey what's going on how can we make this easier for you how can we adjust maybe figure something out for you that's gonna work do you need to switch to a different shift it's just a lot that goes into it but that's what i'm doing here so the next thing i'm 
like to do in my mornings is respond to any emails and also do follow-ups and then with those follow-ups and with that being said i like to go into our ats system and see who has applied to our job postings via various job boards and i'll kind of screen and go through and i create a list for myself to make calls to the guys that look probably the best qualified for these jobs get a feel for them kind of doing a phone interview in my day and then i take those names put them together consolidate them with some notes and then send them off to our supervisor so that he can do a call in follow up and then from there he will let me know yay or nay on di different candidates and then i will again send out emails and give them a call and then let them know that i will be assisting them through our new hire and onboarding process and then that whole journey begins So this call definitely set the tone for the rest of how today actually went. I will get into it later on, but as you can see, my face has completely changed because I just knew that it was going to be an issue and it was. Hey guys, so it is lunchtime and I ended up getting Chinese takeout because I was kind of craving rice. I have a meeting for the rest of the day. Right now it's 11, we go to lunch pretty early. We have meetings today, then we have a staff meeting, then I have a corporate meeting. So there's just a lot going on. I'm not gonna show you guys too much, but pretty much I create a binder. Everywhere I go, I always create a binder for job position. And it's just really for training material for myself. So I start off by taking notes in a journal and then I type them up and put a binder together. I did this at my last job before I left, but today has been busy, busy, busy. Today was an orientation day, which is actually a huge issue with that. But at the end of the day, it worked out and we're just gonna roll with it and keep moving forward. But I did wanna get on and kind of talk to you guys. So I haven't said anything. I still have my Christmas jazz playing today into the morning it just keeps me relaxed and usually i like to listen to jazz music in the morning and then i'll put like some a playlist that i like to listen to for the rest of the day okay so before this meeting starts i am going to use the bathroom and i'm actually going to turn the lights off and lock my door because it's already the meeting's happening in a shift change where usually this is when i get the most people coming into my office so as I'm in this meeting, I'm actually working on 16 termination forms that needed to get done. These were employees that were either terminated during this last month, or we had some that were just no call, no shows, couldn't get a hold of. And then some of these were actual layoffs simply because the jobs that they were working had ended. And we had 16 that had been just sitting in queue waiting and no one knew what to do with them. So the last two days I had been trying to figure out who was where and if they were still active or termed so that's what i'm working on this entire meeting because today is actually the cutoff day for me to get that turned in so that we can turn off insurance for them so before the next clip begins i do want to say that after this meeting when i opened my door i had a line of people ready to talk to me so i'm obviously not going to record that part of it just for the integrity and safety and privacy of myself my employees and my company so I don't get to record pretty much an outro for the rest of my day because there is so much going on and saying hi and bye to everyone and switching over to the next shift and getting some last minute paperwork signed that I needed to get done. So that's why I jumped so abruptly into the next clip. And we are back with a whole new vibe. I put on some makeup. I didn't do too much. I just put on a little bit of foundation and some powder because I still wanna look kinda cute. And I took a shower because y'all, today was so stressful. I don't have school, school starts for me next week and I'm not going to the gym because I really wanna go meet up with my friends. So those two things have been cut out for my day in the life today. And I think I definitely will make a day in the life work and school full time because taking two classes on an eight week schedule and working full time is a whole other level of a competitive sport. I promise you it is. I don't know, I'm kind of actually shook that my skin looks so nice on camera. I should really maybe start putting on some kind of makeup to work because I really don't. And the only reason I don't is because I don't want to attract attention. And I actually meant to bring this up earlier. 
because I work in construction and I'm a woman, I feel comfortable and beautiful, you know, in my natural skin, even though it hasn't been cooperating lately and I've been breaking out, but I'm just trying not to overly attract a lot of attention to myself. There's just like a fine line between things and I don't want anybody to get the wrong ideas about anything or to be in a, a weird situation. I don't know, but I just want to be very careful. Now, obviously, if I feel like it, then I'm going to put on makeup. And on top of that, I'm in a trailer all day. And even though the guys are coming in and out, like, that's just too early. I'm not going to spend any time doing makeup. Even if foundation and powder takes like two seconds to do, like, it's just not something that I want to do every day. And I do want to be realistic with my life when I'm showing you guys these things. When I worked at my last job, I loved doing my makeup because I felt like I had the time and I wanted to be cute. Wearing jeans, t-shirts, boots, like even though I wear nice shirts or blouses or whatever, I'm not, I just, I don't know. I just not in the mood to overdo it. I didn't even get to mention that earlier, but I was like, dang, like they probably think I just, I'm lazy, but it's not that I'm lazy. I just don't feel the need to do makeup, especially with going to work that early and I don't know, I'm gonna go get my lashes done for sure. I wanna do that so I can look more awake. I, I, I just don't wanna switch it up too much. I just try to stick to a realistic schedule and that's what I wanted to show you guys today. So I'll see you guys at dinner. Hey lovelies, so obviously it's a new day. So I need to just get into basically what happened the other day at work and to finish up this video and just end it and close it out. But basically, when I mentioned that I had taken a phone call and my face just changed because I honestly have been so frustrated dealing with this temp agency that I've been really trying to work with. And they send us guys who like don't show up, who get, I have to term them within a week of their first week. And it's just really frustrating to kind of work with them. And even though I try to be understanding, it's still a business. We still have things to do. There are things that have been paid for and expectations that are had from our company that we've just become kind of a revolving door for these people and we're wasting a lot of our resources on them. So this had actually started on Tuesday. So yesterday when we did orientation, when we had a six guys show up from this agency who were not even supposed to be there, that really made me mad. And the phone call that I got was because the agency was like, oh, we have people that are trying to get in, they can't get in. They're not even supposed to be here. They're not even supposed to be coming today. Like they're not even, they're not even like, they were supposed to be here on Tuesday and chose not to show up. This isn't a, a let me pick and choose when I want to come to orientation. And I would do want to say that usually I'm a very straightforward person. Like I don't let people walk all over me, especially at work and especially working in construction. So you cannot let anybody walk all over you because the supers will do it. The foreman will do it. Managers, whoever, they will walk all over you and treat you like their assistant. I am not anyone's personal assistant. That's not the kind of job that I signed up for. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to do my HR stuff and new hires and onboarding. My other duties are assigned to me, but I'm not anyone's little piggyback horse. So that just kind of set the tone because I knew that the supers and managers were gonna come in to that freaking orientation and they were gonna be pissed. And sure enough, they were not happy about that. It was a big headache basically on Thursday. And though I looked cool, calm and collected, I was definitely freaking out on the inside because really there was just nothing that I can do about that. By that point, they had showed up, they were there, we had started orientation. Honestly, I should have sent them home and just dealt with it. I was just really mad because it's just so disrespectful to waste time and money. These guys were supposed to come Tuesday and they didn't show up and we already told them that we were gonna pull from any kind of hiring for the next two weeks just to give ourselves a break and to really regroup and for me to just get on some recruitment stuff and really focus on hiring for different areas that we're looking for. Probably not explaining it in the best way because I'm trying to do it to where I'm not exposing too much of the company, both companies and then giving too much of my opinion on stress it. just because everybody's moving around. There's a lot of moving pieces. We're all working a lot of hours. We're all extremely tired. And then something as small as that was just gonna set off the day. Oh, it was just such a huge issue. Funny story, one of the guys that showed up on Thursday was actually a guy who left a voicemail to me on Tuesday saying that he didn't have time to wait around all day on me but i was like you showed up three hours late you weren't waiting on anyone my friend and if you don't have time to quote unquote wait around all day what are you doing here like aren't you you're the one looking for a job you know what i'm saying i don't have the energy or the patience for stuff like that so i just kind of rolled with it and i was like you know what we're here now this is what we're doing no one said anything nothing was done so we're just gonna keep the guys and keep it moving and keep it pushing and get 
ready for a new week i just wanted to really get out of there i was tired thursday i just wanted to go eat and go to bed that's just how my night pretty much ended and i didn't get to record for you guys i came home took off my makeup brushed my teeth and climbed right into bed <laughs> and drifted away quickly into sleep so i do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and for sticking with me on this journey of becoming more and more involved with youtube and also sharing my experience as an hr professional that is all that i have for this wonderful vlog you guys have a wonderful night and a great weekend and i will see you all in the next one